Hello and welcome to Pets Horse Club. Today I'm going to show you some of the materials that you're going to need to train your gerbil how to do agility. So first things first, you're going to need a gerbil. Now I don't have one at the moment, but I'm going ahead and making all this stuff for what might be a gerbil agility. So I'm hoping for a gerbil really soon because I really want one. Um, I'm thinking of getting two, but the only thing is my mom. She won't let me. So I'm just going to have to keep on being responsible. And, well, I already have a rat, so that's one of the things. But she's getting to where the point that she's getting old and she has a tumor. They say that all rats end up getting tumors, or a lot of them do. But today I'm just going to show you some materials that you're going to need for agility. Now this stuff is only gerbil size. So I might not recommend that some of this stuff for like guinea pigs or rats or hamsters. So let's start off with the treat rise. You're going to need treats and something to put it in. This is either ceramic a ceramic bowl or a clay bowl. I'm not really sure because I'm kind of dumb in some way. But these are just peanuts in small little bites. And these are the actual peanuts. Don't do not get salt salted peanuts cuz that could harm your dribble. Um just get regular things. You can use different treats like just use their food but maybe see which food they like the best. Or cereal flakes with no sugar. Just regular flakes. Um, you could use grape nuts. They're really good for them. Healthy. So you're going to need some treats and a bowl to put them in. Next, you could have the ground poles or a trident pole. So these are just the sticks, batons, they're kind of like popsicle sticks, but longer. Yeah. yeah. This is from Stable Mates. I just use it as a trotting pole. And then this, I don't know where this came from. So I just kind of found it one day, but I use it as a ground pole. Another thing that you could use is... Just a regular piece of wood. Um, more, it's better if it's rounded. So you could either make it a weaving pole that they go a we weaving thing to go around. Another great thing is a toilet paper roll. So it could be a tunnel that they go through, or you could use a um, paper towel roll. Either one's good. If so. This they might get scared to go through unless they can go through tubes in your cage and everything. So that might take some time for your rat. And bleh, I keep on saying rat because I have a rat. For your gerbil to go through. Next we have the step up, step down box thing. Um, this is where you could do some of your tricks. The tricks that your gerbil knows on here. Or you can make them jump a long jump. Or step up, step down. That's the name that I named it. Or you can flip it over and make them jump over this, then here, then jump over this. So that's a pretty cool thing to have. It's made out of pop school sticks. Finally, the most important thing about agility, well, usually, are the jumps. So these jumps right here are not really good to start out with. So, start out with ground poles, please. Even, definitely when the gerbil is young. And then you can move on to this. These are actually really easy to make too, even though that one looks really hard for some people. It's good to color them too, different colors. I hear that most all animals, a lot of them are attracted to bright colors. So you can color them. I just haven't colored these yet. And then this one is slanted. Um, 
Because usually gerbils or anything, they somewhat step on the jump and then just go over it. And some of them, they go totally over it. But this slant, and that's a little lower than the actual height of the jump that I want the dribble to jump, makes if they're having trouble jumping this jump, you either go back down a step, or they'll just step on this and jump over it. So those are all the materials that you will possibly need for dribble agility. They come very handy and the most important thing is the treats. Do not try to do dribble agility or make your dribble do anything without treats because then they'll just get mad and they'll hate what they're doing. Just don't push them over the jump. Okay, maybe guide them with a treat over the jump or put a bell on the other side and jiggle it with the treat in your hand. Something like that to make your dribble go over it when it feels like. So after it gets the treat, it'll know that it can repeat this step, that it has to go over the jump to get the treat. So the main idea is patience. Patience, patience, patience. So take your time, be patient, give treats a lot, and your dribble will become a good agility dribble. See you back. Maybe I'll show you how to make some of the jumps, and I soon to get a dribble, or two. I get really frustrated because every morning I wake up and I'm like, oh, I want to train my dribble to jump, but no, I don't have one. So... Whatever. But bye. See you later.